Strength and honor. Strength and honor. Strength and honor. At my signal, unleash hell. What up, y'all? It's the Doc Connector, and assuming some major biblical events don't unfold within the next decade or so, we could soon find ourselves living in a sci-fi futuristic world, a world where dogs are no longer man's best friend because robots are now the perfect human companion. Some people see robots as the answer to completing a lot of our daily tasks. My sister Amber, not by blood, always expresses how she can't wait until someone invents a rosy robot from the Jetsons. Imagine having a robot who could fold and put away your laundry. What if that same robot had the ability to cook dinner exactly the same way you do? Better yet, what if that robot was programmed to save yours or your child's life in case someone in your home was choking to death while enjoying their meal? Or what if the robot even had the ability to babysit your kids while you went to work for 8 to 12 hours a day? You could essentially give the robot a to-do list and without fail, it would successfully run errands for you, do house chores, and assist your child with their homework. No doubt, all of this sounds stupendous and many of the things I just mentioned will probably be selling points that will have robots flying off the shelves. I can foresee a time when having a robot will be just as common as having a microwave, a dishwasher, or a personal computer. Just look at how quickly AI has already infiltrated our lives and look at how much AI already has the ability to do. AI can write songs, a story, and a business plan in a matter of seconds. AI has the ability to create almost any image you request of it also in a few short seconds. And now AI can even create videos of complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motion, and accurate details of the subject and background on the fly. The possibilities are endless, and at this point, it seems as if there is nothing robots powered by AI can't do. And while to some people, it may seem exciting to have a robot completing house chores, running errands, and even providing medical assistance, I fear that the creators, along with the general population, will completely overlook the ramifications of introducing these machines to the world so quickly. In fact, Many experts signed a statement in 2023 warning that AI could lead to the extinction of humans. Uh, let's look at AI because specifically the risk that could lead to the extinction of humans. Many top experts have signed a statement warning of the risks of artificial intelligence and this is what that wording says. Well, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. The G7 group of leading economies, the EU, US, well, they've all been holding meetings trying to work out how to tackle the challenges. Well, I've been speaking to Stephanie Hare, a technology ethics researcher, about the current risks posed by AI. They aren't talking about what they're doing to stop these risks from manifesting. So they are all still building this technology. They're not saying they're going to stop building it. They're building it. And they're still seeking investment and this investment is into the tunes of multiple billions of dollars. So that's not really a mitigation strategy, is it? Without wishing to disrespect people on the list who are serious people, and I listen to them, there's a lot of people who aren't on that list who are also very serious thinkers and who are warning of very different risks, not the sort of science fiction risks, but the risks that are happening with AI right now. And those are risks of discrimination. Those are risks of misinformation and disinformation. Those are risks to interference in our elections. And it's interesting because if we don't talk about the risks that are happening right now, then they can carry on making money and they can carry on having us all think about things that may or may not happen in the future. I would like to have us thinking about both. Let's think about the existential long-term risks that are possible and let's think about what's happening right now and hurting people right now. For me personally, it's not hard to see how the creation of social media and the creation of AI are like two peas in a pod. When social media was created, it was difficult for the world to see exactly how these social networks may negatively impact society. At first, MySpace 
Black Planet, and Facebook made us feel more connected, but little did we know that heavy social media usage would lead to negative mental health issues like increased anxiety, depression, loneliness, and low self-esteem, especially among young people who are more vulnerable to comparison and peer pressure. We couldn't see that excessive use of social media would lead to addiction, with users constantly seeking validation through likes, comments, and shares, often at the expense of real-life relationships and responsibilities. And yes, while at first we felt more connected to the world, social media has actually led to the erosion of social skills. This is because reliance on social media for communication leads to a decline of face-to-face -face social skills, empathy, and the ability to engage in meaningful offline interactions. And these are just a few negative impacts that social media has had on the world. This isn't even including cyberbullying, increased teen suicide rates, and the spread of misinformation. These examples are what the creators of these social platforms call negative unintended consequences. I want to bring us back to the point that you were making about exploiting consumer behavior in a consumer internet business. You said that this is a time for soul searching in social media businesses and, and you were part of building the largest one. What soul searching are you doing right now on that? I feel tremendous guilt. Um, I think, we, I think we all knew in the back of our minds, even though we feigned this whole line of like, there probably aren't any really bad unintended consequences. I think in the back, deep, deep recesses of our minds, we, we kind of knew something bad could happen. Family, as many of you know, YouTube recently demonetized my channel. In the age of censorship, we always knew this day would come. In response, Many of you have donated to the channel, which I am forever grateful for. It's times like these that UpTV needs your help the most. It is your donations that will allow videos like this and many more to still be produced. Don't allow big tech to put a stop to the truth. Please continue to support the channel by following the donation links in the description of this video. Any amount, big or small, is greatly appreciated. Thank you for your love, support, and generosity as we battle against spiritual wickedness in high places, tyranny, and injustice. My name is Devin Worlds, and we are the Dot Connectors. But I think the way we defined it was not like this. It literally is a point now where I think we have created tools that are ripping apart the social fabric of how society works. That is truly where we are. And I would encourage all of you as the future leaders of the world to really internalize how important this is. If you feed the beast, that beast will destroy you. If you push back on it, we have a chance to control it and rein it in. And it is a point in time where people need to hard break from some of these tools. AI already has the ability to imitate voices, faces, and change a scene in real time. It really makes me wonder what the so-called negative unintended consequences will be in the long term when it comes to AI. And I believe OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT and Soar, are going to be responsible for many of the unintended consequences that we see unfold in the near future. This is because OpenAI has already made some major futuristic advances with their AI-powered robot, Figure One. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. Great. Cool. Can you explain why you did what you just did while you pick up this trash? On it. So I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Great. So 
Based on the scene right now, where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. Great, can you put them there? Of course. All right, so how do you think you did? I, I think I did pretty well. The apple found its new owner, the trash is gone, and the tableware is right where it belongs. I agree. Thanks, figure one. You're welcome. If there's anything else you need help with, just let me know. Figure one can do some truly amazing things. Notice how his voice sounds like a real authentic human voice. Also, figure one can see and fully process its surroundings. This robot even has the ability to learn and correct its past mistakes. This indeed looks like soon many people will be able to have that rosy robot they all dreamed of. But is this the beginning of the end for mankind? What happens if robots like figure one become sentient? The answer may be too dark for the user, as it could lead to a major war between man versus machine, like in the most recent sci-fi robot film, The Creator. The development of AI-powered military robots could escalate conflicts and lead to uncontrollable scenarios such as the proliferation of autonomous weapon systems that could initiate attacks without human intervention, leading to worldwide destruction. As we speak, we could very well be creating our last invention, AI-powered robots that are smarter, stronger, and faster than any man on the face of the planet. Unlike social media, the consequences of creating these robots could be catastrophic and irreversible. Once AI becomes more sophisticated, it may develop unintended behaviors or capabilities that pose serious risk to humans and the environment, such as autonomous decision making that contradicts human values or objectives. But aside from the world-ending dangers of robots, increased reliance on AI-powered robots for social interaction and caregiving could lead to a decline in meaningful human relationships, empathy, and emotional connection, potentially leading to societal alienation and loneliness. Also, the widespread adoption of AI-powered robots could lead to mass unemployment and economic disruption as automation replaces human workers across various industries, exacerbating social inequalities and destabilizing communities. These reasons and many more underscore the importance of responsible development, regulation, and ethical consideration in the advancement of AI-powered robotics to mitigate potential catastrophic outcomes. But what are your thoughts? Is the creation of Figure One and other AI-powered robots a dream come true for humanity or a nightmare? Would you have a Figure One robot of your own or not? And what are some dangers of AI-powered robots you've thought of not mentioned in today's video? Sound off in the comments and let me know. And if you haven't already, please give your life to the Lord, Yeshua, in this final hour. My name is Devin Worlds, and we are the Dot Connectors. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't... I think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. 
and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well... It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. <laughs> 